Okay guys, I'm back. Um, I did something, but I didn't do something. <laughs> I didn't film what I did, um, which is going to really suck, because I really can't stick this back in there to do it, but I've done heat treated it. Um, got it up to a nice cherry tomato red. Um, did it with my stove, my little small stove that I have inside the building here. It's a wood stove. I burned some hickory and got the coals in there. It's been going for about four hours, I guess. And then I kind of just got it to where it's a nice good and glow on it. Um, once I've done that, I'm sure many of you guys that's made knives and stuff have seen, didn't do anything spectacular or anything like that. All I've done was got it to that nice heat, took one of these little pans I have here, poured about two quarts of motor oil down inside of it, set it outside, got it good and hot, walked out there, um, stuck the, the blade part down through here. That's what I kind of got to go into at first because I wanted that to harden up the fastest and then as I did that I just kind of laid it over down into it till it was done so I mean there's plenty of videos out there sorry I didn't get it but I kind of wish that I could keep that color on it but I know that that color will not stay because it actually kind of give it a cool little zebra little print inside of it which I know once I kind of start going over it and stuff it's going to come off of it but anyway there it is next step is Get her in the oven for a little bit um let it go from there so we'll get back with you on that and maybe this thing will be done and ready in the next few hours or so but we'll get back with you in a few minutes okay guys um basically what i've done now is is i've stuck it's in my little toaster oven at 300 degrees It'll stay in there for about two hours, so it means I've got time to sit and read, do something. Um, once that's done, that kind of finishes up the hardening. And then we'll get to putting the scales and stuff like that on it. Okay. There it is. It's done been stuck in the oven two and a half hours. Um, let it cool back down. Got a pretty good little edge on it. It's time to clean it all up. I'm going to take some 400 grit sandpaper and basically I'm just going to be wiping over it. So we'll get back to let you see what I'm doing with that. And get it smoothed down just a little bit. Okay. Basically all I'm doing with it is this right here. Just thrusting it over. Getting it back to that original shine that was on it. I'm not a real fan of the big shinier colors so I'm not going to be really working in there. I just want to get enough of it off where you can get a coat of oil on it and keep it from rusting. Because this is pretty much carbon steel and it would rust easy. But that's basically all I'm doing at this point now is just getting that cleaned off of it. So we'll be back when I'm done with that. Alright guys. Here's the test, see if we've made something that's worth taking into the woods with us. As far as a tool, it's just a ferrocium rod that I've got, the blade we made, and so yes it does. Um, she still strikes sparks, so that's a good thing. So we'll be back with something else. All right, Tubby's back. Um, <coughs> excuse me. The uh, the blade right there it is. I've left this here rough to actually where it would form when I put the handles on it. Um, the knife pretty much everything that I was intending on making um, are they more expensive knives out there shoot ya yeah. are they better knives out there shoot ya yeah. but other than the time 
it took me to make this I have exactly no money in it so if you're looking to make a knife you don't have one it can be done there's a thousand different ways of getting the result that you want will this knife last forever can't tell you that it will can't tell you that it won't I mean you don't use it this thing here will be here until the metal rots but if you do use it will it break possibility am I gonna test it out and see misusing it no am I gonna go in the woods only with this one probably not if I did I'd protect it I'd use it for what I had to use it for and I'd use other resources that are free and natural out there to get the job done if I just ended up having to so with that being said there is better knives out there that would be able to do all of that but hey I haven't seen anybody send any of those things in my mailbox for free so guess what this one is so now I'll give you a first time I've ever tried this so this thing may just completely fail because I don't do a, a real big I'm not a paper cutting kind of guy I mean this is not one of my claim to fame but it's just what it says it is it's just a knife um, some 12 ounce leather I mean let's see how well it does another reason that I do that because it does knock the burrs off of them and I know there's a few spots it has some burrs in it but I mean there we go I mean it cuts through the leather will it make feather sticks it probably would I don't have a piece of wood in here to work with it I mean it's not the final edge either it's just an edge that I put on it for right now it could be hung down make a thinner edge on it but hey there it is next step you'll see is me putting the handles on real quick and then this thing will be done um, for the handles there's the ones that I made for it you've seen how they were I'm gonna basically put those things on don't want to get them too dirty right now because my hands are still from that slag and stuff that's on it put on some gloves I put the handles on it and I'm actually only gonna take linseed oil and dip the whole knife down inside of it and that'll color my handles the only way that it's going to get so we'll be back in a second all right here's the epoxy um it's a two-ton epoxy clear it's good for metal and everything that's what i've got that's so i can get it to squeeze out Basically, once you get it squeezed out, put your lid back on it, or you'll have it all over the house. Put it back where it goes. Or you'll never find it, Mike. I have an old pencil here. That's what I'm using to mix it together with. Just basically stirring the two of them together. to get it mixed together I'm just dabbing it all on the, the blade here um, that's pretty much it probably wasn't the best idea I had it with a pencil but I didn't want to waste a brush right now Side, just put very little on it on the cube. And press her down. Nothing super fancy. 
just kind of get it to where you got your other one lined up. And I've pre-laid my pins out already. So I wouldn't know which was which. Some of them are kind of in the middle. It's really getting messier than the last time I done it. No, no, there's a thousand different ways of doing this. That's probably better. But it's just the way I do it. Same thing, just put this epoxy in there. Make sure you coat the whole area pretty good. You don't want any weak spots. And a little here and a little there. The last one that I did turned out pretty good. It's not going to be a no knife show. been in the woods and run across a knife show either. Run across a few guys that thought they had a knife show. And there is going to be a bunch more glue on this than normal. Or it is for more than what I've had. But I still have to sand it back off anyway. So it's more of a mess up at this point. But we'll get it or we'll get her done. That one pin. I don't know if y'all remember or not, but that second one that gave me the fit on the drilling. Well, it still gives me a mess when it comes to putting that pin in. It's got to be put in in a certain way. Or it just doesn't seem to go in. There. All right, that's on there. Now the next step is is to. Put it in the vise, let it set overnight. And that's pretty much the gist of it. So we'll be back after that, and it'll be tomorrow before you'll see anything else. So I kind of already done it, but I can show you. All I've done was I got some of this suede, and I put it on here, just like this, so that it doesn't mark it up. And I am cranking it down. And when I see the glue coming up on every one of them, I just stop. And that there is pretty much how I've epoxied the handle on. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. I'm going to go ahead and try to edit and load that video on up. And then I'll show you the finished product on the final and make it a small brief description on it or I could just wait and do it all but it's going to be pushing over what I like to spend on uploads but I appreciate you watching thanks